What is going on, number one? Commodore Labs here today, bringing to my live reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 56. Now, Shonen Jump has come out, I think it was like at 4 p.m. and stuff. Right now, it's like 6 30 by the time I'm recording this. Uh, you're kind of surprised because usually around this time, I'm not even home. I can't even record videos until, you know, later on in the night, but it's Easter Sunday. Uh, so, of course, you know, if you guys are celebrating Easter right now, happy Easter by the time you're watching this. And uh, we have a chapter to read, man, because with the day off today, I can actually read the greatness. And I heard uh, this week, we're supposed to be getting early chapters, I think, on Friday. So I'll be early again on time uh, with the next chapter afterwards. So at least I'll be good. And then, you know, when 58 drops the week pro afterwards, I guess when the Golden Week kind of wraps up, we'll be back to, you know, being late and uploading late at night. But shout out to the Viz, of course, for providing the chapters of Jujutsu Kaisen week in and week out because they're performing God's work as they should. And especially to Weekly Shonen Jump because they have given Jujutsu Kaisen the cover of Weekly Shonen Jump. I believe this is the third time we got the cover. First one for the first issue. Second one was, because I, I remember vividly, I don't know if it was issue 29 or 30, or chapter 29 or 30, should I say. Uh, it's the one I know that had Gojo in the background with, you know, Nabara, Megami, and then Yuji in the front, you know, with the fist and everything. And then we had the color, the double color spread, where it was, uh, it was Mahito on one side, and afterwards was Yuji on the other side. It was like the jellyfish and all that was that time. And I don't think we ever got the cover again after that, so... It's so our first cover since, I think, like, you know, 29 or 30. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments because it's been a minute. I can always go back and check the older videos and stuff just to be sure. But regardless, we got a chapter to read, man. We got a battle of the bridge going down. Mahito and Geto look like they're about to uh, cause some mischief in what should be, I think, Megumi's arc. Considering the fact that right now we're in Saitama. We're at uh, the old, like, junior high and stuff that uh, once upon a time, you know, Megumi was at before. So I do, and especially we got the reveal, you know, the girl and stuff. Uh, from his past, we, we found out I think it's a sister. So I don't know if it's confirmed for sure it'll be a sister. Or he's saying that for a ruse and maybe somebody else, but we're gonna have to see when we dive into it. So without further ado, enough talking. Let's get into the chapter. Chapter fifty six is Jujutsu Kaisen. I need to see his color page and oh baby, like yo, Mahito in color just hits something different, man. Look at him. Hey there. Sorry to bar you all of a sudden. But you think you could run some errands for me? Bro, hold on. Hold on, Skip. Bro, look at this thing too, man. It has like... It's so nasty because it's like it's in blue, right? But you see like at the bottom it has like the ugly like ogre like teeth you would see like do from Shrek. And then on the top and stuff, which looks like if you ever watch uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, if you know like King Crimson, the design thing it has like on its forehead. It's something like that, but even just more spookier because then it's like more of like a demon thing, but... Yo, so nasty. And this thing's gonna have to try and jump Megami on the bridge, which I think it's gonna be happening eventually, man. Let me see. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Michael! Yo, hold on, Skip. We see Yuji, Sukuna, and I'm seeing my boy Gojo. I'm seeing Geto. I'm seeing the girl on the side here, what I think we've seen before. And I think might be one of the like the um, the main four that they were talking about, like the top uh, Jujutsu sorcerers and stuff. I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure they talked about her. But I see right in between Geto and Gozu, my boy, Okutsu Gang, man. <sighs> Listen, I need him away from Africa just for a, just a couple of minutes. If it just means that he'll be in an arc and I get to see him and Yuji interacting, I, I, like, I need it. But well, look at these two. Hold, bro, hands to throat. And like, yo, I command you. Sukuna's like, man, ain't nobody command me. I run this place. Chapter 56, The Origin of, of Obedience, Part 2. This is a beast cover, man. And of course, yo, shout out to my boy Stefan because he's the one translating this chapter and uh, putting in the hard work. So I'm excited to see what dialogue we got to uh, embark in. So let's get into the chapter. Without question, this is going to be the thumbnail. I don't know if I want to just put the main four, like all this, or just put, you know, Yuji and Sukuna. I don't know, man, but it's a fire cover. All right. Let me actually just fix the thing over here. So we're good to go. Jujutsu Kaisen. All right. We see Megami, Nobara, and Yuji over here at the ridge. And my boy's a yawn. He's like all tired. Um, where exactly is this curse supposed to be? So they're chilling on the bridge and stuff. This feels like literally like if you're reading like a delinquent manga. If you ever seen stuff like you know uh, rook, um, rookie and then the, oh my god, what was the other one? It was the one that was pro before Ro Roka Danashi Blues. I could how could I forget Roka Danashi Blues? But it feels like one of those like chapters where like you know they're passing by one of the bridges before like a big fight's about to go down. It kind of has like this vibe right now. Still the cars passing by. 
We couldn't even feel a trace of the curse. For real? So you're going to start over. See, Spice Code ro Cod Row. Also, I guess that's something from um, from my boy. We w we can't waste too much time. Why? This is a famous par uh, paranormal spot, right? There may be a lot of others out there who are cursed. And we're looking at a 100% death rate. We can't afford to let more people die. True. They were into bungee jumping, right? Maybe it has something to do with the act of jumping down. We already tested that theory with Itadori. Oh, <laughs> they did. What? You mean with the plastic cord? Hey, there you are. Fujiguro-san. Oh, I see someone coming in that knows him. Who's that again? Fujiguro's junior. Don't you remember picking on him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From the last, from the last chapter. I'm glad I, glad I, ran, I found you. Weren't you talking about Yasuhachi Bridge? Fujinuma. Oh, that's the girl. She's she's a cl she classmate. This is my older sister. I'm glad you still remember. I was telling uh, telling my sis about how I saw you yesterday. Uh, I saw the Morishita family at a funeral ceremony. My brother was telling me about how you guys are investigating Morishita and the bridge. I thought maybe it was more than a coincidence. No curse talk. You got it. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, there's a connection with Morishita's death and the bridge. It's irrelevant. It's just I. During my second year of junior high, I went to Yasuhachi Bridge at night. Yikes. Anything weird going on at home these days? Maybe something only you find odd. Our home is also an antenna shop. For whatever reason, in this, and this only happens to me when I come home, the automatic door is wide open. My mom and dad said it's nothing, but there's definitely something there. I've been so scared, and then I heard about Fushiguro-kun, and I remembered about the bridge. When did you start noticing the door? A week ago? It happens about every other day. All four of the victims died at least two weeks after reporting the strange events. We still have a little time. It's not like you went to Yasuhachi Bridge alone that night, did you? Do you remember who was with you? So, does that mean there's a connection? Just the door, but it's not the related to Morishita's death. <laughs> She's so calm about it. I just got Fushigoro and the others here to help, to help me do some research for a college report. The title's Electronic Waves Emitted from Paranormal Spots and Their Effect on Electronical Equipment. Super boring. That's a super damn long line. But I want to talk to as many people as possible, so can you tell me what, who, who you went with? This is just a little light, a white lie so I can help her. I went with two upperclassmen from my club. Oh yeah, Fujigoro-kun. Yo, look at the look on his face. Sumiki-san so was with me. Okay, I think it, it, it's pretty much 100% certain it is his sister and stuff. Because if he's making a look like that, when the family ties come into play, I don't think Megumi's playing around at all, man. Dead serious. He's like, yo... That's a beautiful panel too with her sister, uh, the sister in the back draw and stuff. But that face right now, man, it's just like, yo, what in the world are you telling me? Sumiki is Fushiguro's older sister. Okay, well, I guess I'll ask her about it. Fushiguro. And he looks nervous. Yuji goes to ask him. And he looks mad sweating. I don't know for what reason though. And if she's dead or something had happened to her, like, because it's kind of ambiguous as to like what exactly transpired with her and stuff. Because assuming from like you know the fight with Sakuna that she might have died, I don't know. We have to see then. But he looks he looks frightened right now. But what he just uh, just heard right now, push girl, snap out of it. First we gotta check if she's okay, right? I'm fine. Sorry, I'll be right back. I'm going now back to the school. Understood. We'll have a bodyguard with Sumiki-san. However, we only have grade 2 Jujutsu sorcerers available at the moment. Grade 2. If we have more cursed victims than are estimated, we may have to reevaluate what rank we classify the curse. It's likely that the mission was given with, the, with Itadori's uh, growth in mind. If it seems to be getting even more dangerous, even grade 2 may not be enough. All of us, myself included, recommend that you retreat. What now? Should I go back by myself? No. It's a dangerous mission, even with the three of us. I can't let those two handle it by themselves. Gojo Sensei returns next week. Should we try when he's back? No. The problem is there is a limit. It's not. It's not a curse type that attacks. If it's, it's if it's a if it's a type that activates its Jujutsu Shiki from the inside of its mark, I wouldn't be able to protect her. It must be exercised now. Why were you talking to Ichiji san Is your sister okay? She's fine. Anyway, the mission is more dangerous now. 
It's being given to other sorcerers. You guys go home. And they look confused. You guys, what about you, Fushiguro? And I'll be right behind you after I see Takeda's son. Now go. He's about to go run into his sister, and I think something's gonna happen, man, because this... This is giving me mad vibes of the first, like, big arc we had, like, you know, back when it was, like, chapter 6 to 9. The whole, like, you know, when they saw that thing in the air, and it was, like, you know, it kind of alluded to the fact that one of them was gonna die, and we knew it ended up being Yuji. This is not giving me, you know, a happy vibe whatsoever. It's giving me those scary vibes from before, because we had no idea if one of them was gonna get erased. I'm hoping this doesn't mean something bad is going to happen to Megami or even to his sister if she is alive. But Yuji even notices as he looks outside the car just seeing him looking at his phone. Fujinuma's son didn't go up on the bridge itself. The test of metal was down below. But Itadori went down below as well. It probably does no good to jump from up top. If the curse is in a barrier, the order is going to be important. At night from below and one more thing. It's impossible to have Ryuki... Ryoiki to that spin and dough with an expanded and uh, sustained Jisushiki, which makes this Ryuki com incomplete, like the one we saw at the detention center. It's a blessing. There's no need for it to vary this time around. I think he says, oh, hold on, let me turn the thing. Is it a double spread? No, 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 it's not. Because I see right here, it, like in the next page and stuff, because it has like the thing, because I switched over from single to double. You're seeing right here now, like the bridge and stuff is going by. And this is a very nice panel too, with the bridge like, you know, from the top top, we're looking like if we're looking above, like ourselves like looking up. You see Megumi right here and it looks like, it looks like the, from the linings, there might be a barrier coming to effect. Oh, hold on. You never tell us anything about yourself, that's right. You're so deep in thought you didn't even, you didn't even know didn't even notice us. We're not gonna, we're not saying you gotta tell us everything, but you can trust us. We're friends. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sumiki is still asleep. The Yasuhachi Bridge curse will only appear in front of the cursed victims. Without any information, we don't know when she'll be killed. That's why I want to exercise it now. But it's true that the mission is more dangerous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nabara's like, shut up. We got you. You should have told us from the start. Oh, boy. He has a little smile because he knows what he needs to do right now. Because So it kind of tells us she's probably like in a coma or something after what had transpired, you know, from the events of the Yasuhachi Bridge. And he needs to get it done. But it's like, yo, Nabara and Yuji, it's like, yo, we're squad. Anything that goes down with you, we got your back. The fact that he can has friends now to trust and stuff, man. Like, yo, that's a good feeling for him at least. At night from below, one more thing. There might be a river in the valley. Crossing a river and barriers, the action of doing so has a significant meaning in Chuchutsu. And you're seeing what it looks like is a curse right here with like four different eyes. It's not the same one, not the same guy that we saw that was in the in the house and stuff. Yo, hold on, hold on. Double spread, never mind. We're seeing like the thing... Like, like a forest thing coming through, and it's like peeking off from the left side. And they look, yo, look, yo, they're ready to go. The bar, I got the hammers. Like, yo, it's hammer time, baby. There it is. This could be fun. And homeboy oh popped in. Yo, watch out. Skip, turn around. Turn around, get that crossover going. He's like, huh? And they took a look at the notice right after. What's this? Somebody's already here. Fushiguro, this is something else, right? Yeah. You guys focus on that one. This one's mine. What? You're gonna play with me. And that's the end of the chapter. But boy, yo, he's got the waves in his hands, bro. His aura right now is about to go in. He's about to melee rock this dude. And the good thing is, too, that we don't have to wait too long for the next chapter because it comes out on the 26th, which is supposed to be on a Friday. But very interesting chapter with a very... Nice cliffhanger to look forward to because now we're about to see some combat go down against a curse that has something to do for sure with, you know, what transpired with uh, Sumiki. And, well, this dude, of course, get, you know, is part of Mahito and stuff. But the one that we're seeing right now and stuff, you know, with the four eyes and stuff, you know, it's hanging from what looks like to be like the, uh, the uh, manifestation of the trees and stuff, right? Has to do something definitely with Sumiki. So... Megumi, Nobara, they're going to take, take care of that guy. And then, of course, you know, Yuji's going to take care of the one that uh, Mahito created. But it would not surprise me whatsoever if Mahito's, like, luring, like, you know, from the background. Just, like, watching what's going on. 
and then probably intervenes if this dude ends up getting taken. So I don't know how strong this guy's supposed to be in terms of the great subject and stuff. They're probably going to analyze it during the fight itself. But if Sukuna wakes up, man, there's no chance in hell for this demon. But nice chapter, though, this week for Jujutsu Kaisen. Of course, color spread, uh, cover a jump, looks dope. Um, really looking forward to seeing how things are going to transpire next week. You know, now we're seeing, like, you know, some combats being set up and stuff, you know, with uh, Nobara Megami going in a handicap match against the demon that has to relate to uh, Sumiki. And then the one created afterwards by Mahito going up against Yushu, which should be light work for him. Uh, you just should be able to take care of it unless this guy is actually a lot stronger and there's more to what uh, the great subject thing that they were talking about before with Mahito and Ghetto. Maybe there's something else that we're probably, uh, or at least what I'm overlooking at the very least. But we're going to have to wait and see next week though. But nice chapter. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, in regards to chapter 56 of Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, are you expecting to be like, you know, a slobber knocker? Do you expect Yuji's going to take care of this demon? Uh, no problem, or do you feel that, like, you know, how I feel is that Mahito's gonna probably show up now, like, right after all this is taken care of, and we have to see what happens. And, you know, maybe we get to see, like, a flashback as to what transpired at Yasaji Bridge from back in the day with Sumiki. Uh, that would be really good to see, but I think I'm gonna bank on the fact that we're probably gonna get more combat, since, or the actual combat itself is actually gonna transpire. We're gonna see Megami and Nobara go in, we're gonna see Hammer Time from Nobara just bashing into that, the, uh, Curse's Skull. And, uh, hopefully we get to see Yuji throw in some new, uh, attacks new abilities and stuff since time had transpired you know from the uh, kyoto event at least from where we're at right now so looking forward to that but again let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below like the video if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here and i'll catch you guys this friday for more of jujutsu kaisen so commodore last signing off thank you so much for watching and as always take care